Hey everyone, welcome to Run of the Apps. I'm Menti, and this is the fifth exhibition match of the Battleship Brawl Season 7 Tournament. Terminate. <laughs> this episode, we've got the Mako Shark by I Like Creativity and Names going up against the Prince by Smirnov. The horses are heavily caffeinated. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the camera in position. Get the prediction started. Mako or Prince? You got one minute to place your bets. Let's go ahead and get this battle underway. The Mako was an interesting one. Because of how it, it increases its fire rate whenever it detects crams. I look good in dress whites. But see, it's just completely negating the prince's ability to fight. While not really doing a whole lot of damage in return. Oh yeah, it's super cool. But if it didn't have that if it didn't have that cool feature, this would just be a, Yeah, Mako is pure Sea Wiz. It's dual purpose Sea Wiz, and that's all it has with these four kinetic guns. And it just doesn't have much of a damage output. This is actually kind of a perfect example of uh, why SeaWiz is not great for viewership. And why in the next Battleship Brawl I'm probably going to make it so you can't have dual purpose SeaWiz. So you can have a Sea Wiz gun if you want it, but it has to be only Sea Wiz and it can't shoot at the enemy ships. Force people to build actual guns. Or well not not that they aren't actual guns, you know what I mean. Anti ship cannons, rather than using anti missile cannons as anti ship cannons. Wouldn't a kinetic cram get by that? Get by what? I'm just not a big fan of uh, of systems that provide like perfect or at least near perfect immunity to damage. Like obviously the Sea Wiz doesn't work against other ABS, but. I mean, yeah, there are things that could have been done, that the Prince could have done to make it uh, more likely to get past the Sea Wiz. But I don't want every ship in the tournament to have to do the exact same thing to be able to penetrate dual purpose Sea Wiz. You know? I don't want every ship to be covered in decoys or. Uh, you know, 
have to make sure their guns are perfectly synced together in the right way. Like, that's not conducive to build diversity. Yeah, I understand. I'm just having a conversation. I'm not, like, upset or anything. But see, we're five minutes in, and Prince is only down to 87.5% health. Just because pure kinetics don't really have the damage output. Now, I will say there were some dual-purpose Z-Wiz ships that had a bit more damage output. Like, um... Shoot. I can't remember their names now. Uh, there was one that shot pure AG with time, with time shells that had quite a bit better damage output. Yeah, exactly, Cornholio. Even El Mosco's damage output is not great. Heat waves is better, but it doesn't have. Heat wave has guns that aren't just pure a pure dual purpose sea waves, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's bothering me that I can't remember the name of that ship. I'm gonna give me a second. I'm gonna look it up. Zegors, that's I think that's the one. Probably with with the uh, the new block setter things. Is what I would guess. Probably has a thing set up so that whenever it detects a cram. <laughs> well, I'm glad I get one. I, I get something right, Harness. <laughs> Oh yeah, or that, what Doom Agent said. But given that Prince didn't land a single shell this entire match, do we really need to do th three rounds? I think one round is enough of this. <laughs> Honestly. Like, Prinz has no hope. <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> Making it, making it sound like I'm forcing you to be here, Ernest. Emergency cat inclusion. <laughs> I don't remember who asked for this, Ernest. 
but it's pretty bad. Mako versus the cat. I mean, I suppose I could do something with Destiny, sure. If I still have it, I may. I don't remember if I kept it or not. Because I have a tendency to delete boats that aren't actually in the tournament. Prince showed up for the wrong war, right? <laughs> All right, ninety-nine point nine to seventy-two point eight, and we'll call we'll call that a we'll call that a wrap. Let's see if I still have destiny. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't delete it. So we'll do a round of this because I'm not going to suffer through multiple rounds of the lag either. I suspect the same harness. But we'll do a prediction for it. Mako wins. Mako or Destiny? You got one minute to place your bets. Battle stations. Fire when ready. This is the attack cat, yes. With the uh, obscene lag. Destiny is so strong it eliminated itself. Yes, indeed. So that lag is just awful. But it has a cat. Target sighted. Seventh AI was too much. <laughs> I look good in dress whites. Strong effort, but it just cannot stop all of the crams. Even without the distraction crams, I don't think it could stop all of Destiny's shells. Another thing I'm going to do for the Battleship Brawl Season 7 is murder the gun barge. No more gun barges. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do it exactly yet. Probably going to make a centerline weapon requirement, basically. Like, for every one centerline gun that you have, you can have two non-centerline guns or something like that. Target sighted. Yeah, I, I it's not it's not about them being strong, it's that I'm tired of seeing them. <laughs> There's so many gun barges in the past two tournaments.
great shot kit. That was one in a million. <laughs> yeah, but how do I make... Uh... How do I... Like, I'd love to put in superstructure requirements. But... How do you make a rule for superstructure requirements that is solid and clear cut? I'm surprised Mango Shark hasn't sank. It usually sinks when it takes this much damage. chairs. Mako Shark has sunk now. Don't think we need to do another round of that either. Yeah. Everybody put, somebody put 10 points on Mako just in case. <laughs> Just in case something weird and wacky happened, I guess. <laughs> and then he'd suddenly make a bunch of money. Or, well, mats. Not money. I don't know. I'll figure something out. It's going to be a while before we do another battleship brawl. We're going to do airship Armageddon. Then probably going to do tank tussle. Then maybe a frigate fracas. So, we have a long time to come up with another Battleship Brawl rule set. Yep. In Airship Armageddon 2 should launch in a month or so hopefully that's what I'm hoping for but it does kind of depend on the gatekeeper can't do it without that yeah anyway Oh, I forgot to record the start time of this episode. Oopsie. Uh, that's going to be fun to figure out. Anyway. Because they don't accomplish what I need, want the gatekeeper to accomplish, Coffee Zombie. The gatekeeper is there both to remind people of certain difficulties like Sea Whiz and missiles and things like that, and also to set the bar high enough that the battles will be interesting to watch, but low enough that it's not an extreme barrier to entry. I don't want to use, like, the runner-up or the winner of a tournament as a gatekeeper, because that'll set the barrier to entry too high. Yes, what Harness said as well. Also, what Doom Agent said. Sometimes the tournaments are so far apart that 
vehicles break because they changed the game. <laughs> Vehicles breaking because they changed the game has been a problem since day one of From the Depths. Anyway, that'll be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>